Hello, and welcome to the Identifix Hotline Archive Tip of the Month. I'm Jim Newkirk, the Identifix European Team Leader, and a Master Certified Technician with over 32 years of diagnostic experience, and I'll be your host. At Identifix, we help technicians from across North America diagnose and repair tough problems on the vehicles that they encounter, and we collect and store those known good fixes in what we call a Hotline Archive. A hotline archive contains the information and tests you will need to diagnose problems you encounter on all types of vehicles and systems. Hotline archives can shortcut your diagnostic time and get you to a solution quickly and accurately. Hotline archives are available via the Direct Hit website at www.identifix.com. A demonstration of the website as well as answers to any questions you may have can be found there. Today's problem is an illuminated airbag warning light and a stored trouble code 37 indicating a problem with the passenger side side airbag or circuits on a 2001 Mazda Millennia 2.5 liter. Let's take a look at the hotline archive addressing this issue. The hotline archive contains all the information you will need to diagnose and repair the vehicle problem in one easy to use document. We start with the vehicle description and mileage and a short description of the customer concern. Let's walk through the actual tests needed to diagnose this problem. Step 1. Unplug the passenger side side airbag connector and inspect for loose pins. Reconnect the connector and see if the code is still present. Step 2. If the code is still present, plug a 2 ohm resistor in place of the passenger side side airbag and see if the code returns. If not, the problem is in the airbag itself. Be sure and lift the shorting bar in the connector before plugging in the 2 ohm resistor. If not, it will make the test invalid. Now we can proceed to the potential causes of this problem and in this case the confirmed fix that solved it. Poor connections on the passenger side side airbag could be a problem and we can move on now to useful tech tips. This is the airbag that is located in the seat back. The shorting bar is inside the connector on the harness side. When the airbag is unplugged, the shorting bar shorts the two terminals together in the connector. We finish out the hotline archive with information on the Identifix technician who took the call and produced the hotline archive itself, the call date, and finally comments by fellow technicians who have used the hotline archive to repair a vehicle they were working on. In this case, we find multiple indication of problems at the airbag connector and repairing the connector fixed this problem. It's easy to see that with the real world tests, information and confirmed fixes contained in hotline archives at your fingertips, you'll diagnose more cars in less time and that's a good thing. Watch for more hotline archive fixes and thanks for spending some time with me. Don't forget to visit us at www.identifix.com.